All right, so Ghostbusters came out in 1984, and it was an instant <laughs> smash hit. It spawned a cartoon, video games, comic books, toys, a sequel. It was everywhere all over the world. Even the theme song was a hit. Everywhere you went, you could, you could find the logo. Like most kids back then, I was crazy about it. I had all the toys, I played Ghostbusters every day, I watched some movies and cartoon as much as possible. I wanted to be a Ghostbuster when I grew up. A lot of kids outgrew it, but I really didn't. <laughs> so I kind of grew up, and I finally got to build a really great Ghostbusters costume. But all I cared about using it for was winning costume contests. And I did, a lot of them, too many of them. But luckily, at Phoenix Comic Con in 2007, I met Matt Haynes. And he told me he had the goal to put together a Ghostbusters group to put smiles on people's faces and do good in the community. I didn't think it would work, but I went along with it because I just wanted an excuse to dress up. <laughs> so we started doing events like the First Friday Art Walk, Charity Walks, Toy Drives, and I started seeing that people were still really crazy about Ghostbusters. Everyone, it seemed like. And it was great because we were really putting smiles on people's faces. We are making adults feel like kids again, and even introducing kids to the film, which we like to call job security. <laughs> so I started realizing that the film itself had the perfect combination of comedy, horror, the effects, the music, and most importantly, the camaraderie between the actors and the characters they were playing. People could connect with that, and that's why people love the movie still today and why it stood the test of time. Thanks to that, our group has continued to grow since forming in 07. Uh, people see us and what we're doing, and they want to join in. We've even gotten a Tucson team started because of it. We can cover half the state. <laughs> and now we've even gotten to build our very own version of the Ectomobile. <laughs> I used to push a toy one around on my living room floor, and now I get to ride around town in one. It's awesome. <laughs> and we literally stop traffic. It's pretty cool. But we've gotten to do bigger and better events over the years. But the ones that mean the most are the ones that we have a personal connection with, such as the diabetes and cancer research fundraisers. Um, those are the ones that we really enjoy the most. We've gotten to visit the local children's hospitals, which is so hard to do. The hospital is the last place that you want to see kids. But we found that if you can take their mind off their troubles for a second, you've done something really great. We got to read at a school for National Reading Day. We got to share our love of reading and Ghostbusters with a new generation. Every year we get to help run the downtown Phoenix Zombie Walk. <laughs> we get to turn the streets of Phoenix over to zombies for a whole night. It's like being in a movie, and it gets bigger and better every year. And thanks to those zombies, we've helped feed thousands of people. Not with brains, but with food. <laughs> Zombies are some of the most giving people. We've gotten so much food from them. You gotta take my word for it. <laughs> and now we have kids like Connor here who come to almost every event in his costume. I'm super jealous. I would have loved to have hung out with Ghostbusters when I was a kid, and he gets to. <laughs> and so I started realizing that over time, I sort of had really become a Ghostbuster. Uh, what I wanted to be when I was a kid, and most people don't get to do that. People who wanted to work in a drive through end up becoming astronauts. But I got to become a Ghostbuster. And even though I wasn't actually busting ghosts, but I was helping to save the world just a little bit at a time. Which to the people we help, it's not a little bit, it's a lot. And it's been an incredible journey. I wouldn't have it any other way. So my challenge to you is to tap into your hobby, geeky or not, whatever it is, and use it to help other people. There are so many well-deserving, great charities in the community that need your help. And the old saying goes that one man can make a difference, but it is so much easier when you've got a great group of people along with you for the ride. They can help you, they can support you, and most importantly, they can help make you smile. So if you told me a few years ago the journey that an old 80s movie would take me on, I would not have believed you. But now me and my team are ready to believe you. Thank you.